Hey, this is Ted Lilly, and I'm golfing for Sabes Wings. Welcome back to another episode of the Gym on Base Show. We're back at Paso Robles with the great Ted Lilly. And Ted, it's good to see you. What brings you out today? Well, this incredible tournament that Brett and Candace and, and everyone is, is putting on uh, to, to help people that are in need. Obviously, there you know uh, there's a ton of support uh, you know locally, and then I'm, I'm finding out how many people are flying in as well uh, to be a part of this. So. Yeah. Yeah, people from the East Coast, so uh, people come from everywhere. It's a pretty great cause. Yeah, so I think that, that uh, it, it says a lot about, you know, Brett and Candace and, and, and their mission. You know, I've, I've just gotten to know Brett a little bit over the past six or eight months, but over the years I've just, you know, kind of being in the baseball circle, I've heard so many so many good words about, about who Brett is, and, and he's, he's got a, a tremendous amount of good friendships in the game. And I've been saying to a couple guys, and I know you're a pitcher, but uh, how's the swing going? Um, it, it's going okay. I'm a pitcher, not a golfer. Yeah, yeah, so. Well, I'm a fellow lefty, so it's always good to have a lefty on. Um, do you do everything left-handed? Because I'm kind of split. I write left, throw right. I'm a little screwed up. Pretty much, pretty much. Uh, right-footed kicker, but uh, other than that, all left across the board, yeah. And being from the Bay Area, it's cool to have you on because you obviously played for the A's. And I'm curious, when you reflect, what do you remember about your time with the A's? Because I immediately think of the 20-game win streak. Yeah, so... A really unique and rare special thing to be a part of something like that um, and, and watch that go down especially the way that it did those last like the last like five games um, some of the comeback wins but yeah when I think about that um, I think about the group of guys that I was with the, the teammates um, had some you know certainly some talented players but but grinders we, we had a really really good group I always love talking to guys about a call-up story or your debut. Uh, what kind of sticks with you? Well, I, I guess I'll you know the one is remembering the first time you got word that you were in a you were going to the big leagues, and uh, I was in Louisville and and got called into the uh, the manager's office there in AAA, and and he he let me know that uh, the big league team was in in need. They'd they'd had an injury there, and that I was going to be. Uh, taking a plane going to going to Montreal the following day nice. One thing I thought was interesting about you too is that your wife's a vet, right? So she, you guys are obviously pro animals. Do you have a lot of animals at home or? Yeah, there's there's horses and cows and dogs and cats and yeah, so yeah So since you are a former MLB player, I'm always curious who are your favorite teams and uh, players growing up? Well, so so I grew up um, up in the Sierra Nevadas went to Yosemite High School and we would when we'd have a chance I had a couple friends who were also Giants fans so we would go over to the Bay Area and watch the Giants games and and my favorite player growing up was Will Will Clark during that time and and um, I you know running into Chile um, just had some good memories you know seeing Chile play. Well Ted I know it sounds like they're about to start maybe so it's good to see you thanks for giving me some time and uh, kick some butt out on the course today. Sounds good thank you.